What's up peeps and poops and welcome back. So today we're actually going to be going over THCA and the differences in the THCA that's in the Delta 8 cartridges versus the ones that's in the cannabis cartridges. So let's go. THCA or tetrahydrocannabolic acid is a cannabinoid found in raw and live cannabis plants. Unlike its more famous and intoxicating counterpart THC, THCA is not psychoactive, meaning that it's not going to get you high when you consume it. Instead, this compound has to undergo a process known as decarboxylation, usually heat, light smoking, or cooking to convert it to THC. THCA is often talked about for its potential therapeutic benefits Although research in this area is still in its infancy, some studies suggest that THCA has anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective properties. Alright, now let's talk about the difference between Delta 8 and Delta 9 THCA because I know that there's a lot of companies out there selling it and I just want to go over it. Delta 9 THCA and Delta 8 THCA are both isomers of each other, meaning that they have the same molecular formula but have a different arrangement of atoms. A study titled Comprehensive Characterizations of Various Cannabis Extracts with Respect to Their Delta-9 and Delta-8 THC Content aimed to characterize these isomers in different cannabis extracts. According to the study, Delta-9 THCA is more prevalent in naturally occurring cannabis strains, whereas Delta-8 THCA is relatively rare. The primary difference lies in the location of a specific bond within the molecule. Understanding how THCA works within the body is a complex endeavor as it interacts with the endocannabinoid system, a network of receptors and enzymes that regulate various physiological processes. When THCA is decarboxylated into THC, it binds to CB1 receptors in the brain, inducing psychoactive effects. THCA itself, however, is believed to interact differently with the system, potentially offering medicinal benefits without the high. The research further highlighted that the pharmacological properties of these isomers are not fully understood, mainly due to the limited availability of Delta-8 THCA for study. However, the research does suggest that these two isomers may have differing effects and potencies corroborating anecdotal reports. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, buy me coffee, join my Patreon, also TikTok. Hit me up on there if you want to support me. You can actually buy my series. I'm releasing it in seasons. It's eight episodes a season. One dollar an episode pretty much comes out to eight. Comes out to eight dollars. But right now I actually have coupons over there. So go hit it up. It's like $5.49 or some shit. So yeah, coupons. Go get them. One intriguing development in the cannabis industry is the creation of Delta-8 THCA vape cartridges. While these products may sound similar to traditional THC cartridges, there are key differences to note. For one, the psychoactive effect of Delta-8 THCA if carboxylated is generally considered to be less potent than that of the Delta-9 THCA. Another important aspect is that Delta-8 THCA cartridges might not provide the same range of effects or potency as Delta-9 THCA. The scarcity of Delta-8 THC means that it's often synthesized from CBD or Delta-9 THC, a process that can introduce variables in quality and efficacy. Consumers should be cautious and look for third-party lab tests when considering these products. Delta-8 THCA cards are still a subject of scrutiny, both legally and scientifically. Given that they're relatively new to the market, comprehensive research about their safety and efficacy is lacking. So basically, be cautious when you're trying these products, and you might even consult your healthcare provider for their personal opinion. Alright, so now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Potency. While Delta-8 THC is often said to be about two-thirds as potent as Delta-9 THC, it's essential to know that these estimations don't necessarily carry over to their THCA precursors. The decarboxylation process can yield different amounts of THC from THCA, and factors like heating time and temperature can further impact potency. So while both Delta-9 and Delta-8 THCA share many similarities, including their molecular structure and origins in the cannabis plant, they are distinct compounds. There are differences in abundance, effects, and interactions within the endocannabinoid system make them unique in their own right. Whether you're a consumer interested in exploring the nuanced world of cannabinoids, 
or a healthcare provider seeking to understand the potential therapeutic benefits of these compounds, it's crucial to distinguish between the various forms of THCA. More research is needed to fully grasp their intricacies and potential applications. Cannabis and its compounds are going to continue to captivate the world with their complex chemistry and the potential health benefits, and as laws change and research expands, it's likely that new developments around THCA, both Delta-8 and Delta-9, will continue to emerge. And the involving understanding of these cannabinoids promises an exciting future for both medicinal and recreational users alike. So I hope that this helps you guys understand THCA and the differences in the Delta-8 cartridges and the Delta-9s. Also, remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell, buy me coffee, Patreon, TikTok. Love you guys. Till next time, deuces.